What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Zisha here. Today, I'm going to rank all the time shifters in Time Warfare. But real quick, before this video starts, I want to say thank you guys for the support for the Time Warfare videos from the past, the most recent one. I know y'all love them, but I also want to say please show support to my other videos as well. Put a lot of effort into them, and I'm not just a Time Warfare YouTuber. Please show some support like my last video that I just posted. And yeah. All right, let's go. So in first place, we have the Armored Titan. The Armored Titan is a great Titan because it's high damage, low risk play style. Its tendons make it most the most viable to use if you're a Marlin and its charge is a great combo extender along with its uppercut. And you can take enemies with an armored stance. It's just, it's a great experience overall and there's not that much risk to it besides maybe being slow, but even then you can just shed your, your armor on your legs and you will be faster. At second place, we have the Warhammer Titan. The Warhammer Titan is basically if you were to combine the theme on Armored Titan, in my opinion. It has decent stamina and a high damaging impale that separates it from the rest of the Titan shifters. And it's great for crowd control and a 2v1 against Titans. Its, it's cooldowns, though, are extremely long and almost as long as a her screen time. At third place, we have, and where I still think is the most underrated Titan in the game, and that is the Fimo Titan. The stamina on the Fimo Titan is absolutely insane. And on top of that, you can do some insane combos if you know what you're doing. If you know how to box, this is the time for you. She gets three shifts, a combo extender with a kick, you have the hardening which is extra damage, and on top of that if you're smart enough you can use your speed and then you can do that one move where she basically like Naruto runs at you and you can start doing some combo extenders with that. The only downside I can say is probably your tendons because they're really exposed and just flat out obvious. Fourth, I had a hard time deciding between these two and I'm not gonna lie I'm definitely biased, but after playing one of these times more. I have to, I can't lie, I'm putting the jaw sign above the attack time. <laughs> Only because honestly just look just look at these clips. Nope. The combo extending on the jaw time is honestly insane. It's, it's honestly broken, probably needs a dirt and nerf. But the damage that you can do if you're okay, so the damage you can do, let's say if you do M1, M1, bite, triple slash, and then on top of that, then you can jump up and then uh grapple to them, instant damage. And then you have the counter as well that just makes the counter play really, really well in the jaw time. The jaw time is a time where you have to play scary the entire time, and that makes it extremely annoying to fight, especially someone that knows what they're doing, which I encountered. So that's why I'm putting the draw time above the attack time. Fifth place, we have, as you expected, the attack time. I have it this low because, I mean, out of all the other times, I feel like the attack time in this game is kind of lacking, not that unique. I feel like they should update it to be around like season three, Aaron, because I know that if they were to do another attack time, they would probably do the season four, Aaron. But the one that's based in the game is like season one. I don't think there's anything that much special about it besides the Berserk, but even then the Berserk, it's just like, okay, most people are just gonna run away from it. Now, if you're smart with it, you can get some insane damage. So that is true as well, but I just don't think that's enough to make it any more unique. The roar, a lot of times have that. The uppercut, other times have that. So I don't think it's that unique. And that's why it's just love. And last place we have the Colossal Titan. I'm sorry, but the Colossal is so boring to me. I couldn't even be bothered to go and download my old video because I lost the file for the Colossal Clips. So just enjoy this Arbor with 4 gameplay. The Colossal Titan, I feel like the most exciting thing you can do with the Colossal Titan is just when you shift and get the nuke and after that you're just kind of waiting to die. The only time I think it's actually viable is like payload or maybe like capture. Because in capture if the main fight is in one of those points and you're smart and you have another shifter that is fighting titans around the Colossal Titan, then you can help out with a stomp, you know, a swipe, those type of things and that makes them have to be a little more mindful of your presence. But other than that, I just think the Colossal is extremely boring and lacking and I think it needs a buff. And that's gonna do it for the video guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite Titan is. And let me know if you think about my ranking. I originally was going to put Aaron higher because I was biased. But I can't cap. The jaw Titan, it, its health is low. But it's kind of goaded if you if you know what you're doing. Make sure you leave a like. Check out my Heroes Ultimatum video. Peace out. Have a good day.